Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coronation Street Nikki stars romantic life, co-star breakup, transgender identity, and TV hottie. Nikki Wheatley, a sex worker on Coronation Street, is returning to the streets, but what is the love life like outside of the ITV soap opera cameras for actress Kimberly Hart Simpson? When her ex-boyfriend Daniel Osborne, Rob Mallard, contacts her to find out more about Lauren Bolton's, Kate Fitton's, disappearance, the actress will play sex worker Nikki Wheatley again. Daniel decides to phone Nikki after Bethany Platt, Lucy Fallon, reads an online post implying that Lauren was employed as an escort. Daniel runs across Nikki and her companion Deanna in the precinct and excitedly watches as Max Turner, Patty Beaver, tells Bobby Crawford, Jack Carroll, that he recognizes Nikki as a sex worker and that Daniel is obviously hiding something after snapping a few photos on his phone. Kimberly joins Celebs Go Dating, the mansion in 2020, and after being paired up by the dating gurus of the E4 series, Anna Williamson and Paul C. Brunson, she eventually fell in love with co-star Shane Finallison. Nevertheless, they found it difficult to maintain their relationship because of their great distance from one another and the coronavirus limitations. Kimberly confirmed their breakup in a May 2021 post, saying, Shane and I have decided to part ways after six months of dating. We have great regard for one another and are proud of our path together. Our subsequent journey was much wonderful, but because of our distance from one another, limitations and work obligations can inevitably wear us down. We are grateful for your love, which has not gone to waste. Kimberly revealed that she was pansexual and attracted people regardless of their gender identity or biological sex when she appeared on Celebs Go Dating, The Mansion. She admitted to dating transsexual, male, and female people to the mirror at the time. To me, gender is totally unimportant. The TV personality said that she has gotten some backlash on social media despite disclosing her sexual orientation. She stated in an interview with the Sunday People, I don't care if people think it's a prank. Their issue is that. Kimberly's Famous People co-star of Go Dating Curtis Pritchard said that the two were really close and that their time together generated romance rumors. When the Love Island star was seen in bed next to the bombshell, it made people's tongues wag. He stated to The Sun at the time, Kimberly and I got along pretty well. I'm glad I had the opportunity to live with her. Kimberly truly is a legend. She simply makes me chuckle. In every aspect. Simply speak with someone. That's Kimberly, she's very laid back and easygoing. Do you ever get that feeling that you can tell someone your secrets because you two just click? That is Kimberly's nature. You sense that you have a profound conversation with her. She is a really great kid, and I really did click with her. As they work out the new Lauren suspect, Corey viewers declare that he's up to something. Following a coincidence in a behind-the-scenes film, fans of Coronation Street are certain they have figured out who knows something about Lauren Bolton's disappearance. Fans of Coronation Street believe they have discovered a possible plot point, implying that someone knows something regarding Lauren Bolton's abduction. The small girl disappeared from the cobbles over two months ago. For some time, Kate Fitton's character Lauren had been acting shady and making suggestions about a hidden boyfriend who was showing her off with expensive jewelry and flowers. However, after Roy Cropper fired her from the cafe, she received a visit from an unidentified person at home before going missing. Bobby, her new friend and love interest, was the first to notice she was missing, but his missing persons report wasn't taken seriously at first. But when blood was found in the apartment where Lauren had been residing, things took a bad turn, and DS Lisa Swain began looking for the person who had disappeared with Lauren. Since he was the last person to see Lauren alive and had suspiciously deep-cleaned her apartment in an ill-advised attempt to support his friend Evelyn Plummer, who was subleasing the precinct flat, Roy Cropper, played by David Nielsen, became D.S. Swain's primary suspect very soon. Roy was granted bail earlier this week despite being accused with Lauren's murder. The Manchester Evening News reported that viewers witnessed a distressed Roy in his cell, refusing food and visitors, on Wednesday night's episode of Corey, April 17, leaving his niece Nina Lucas devastated. Bobby's deception about seeing an unknown man at Lauren's apartment is still coming apart in the meantime. 
After donating some items to a charity shop, Danny Osborne was questioned at the station once more over his remarks on a black puffer jacket. Notwithstanding, a recent behind-the-scenes film showcasing Joel Deering actor Callum Lill has rekindled viewers' suspicions over the new solicitor's potential role in Lauren's abduction. In the video, Callum can be seen with actors Shanique Sterling Brown, Dee Dee Bailey, and Allison King, Carla Connor, during the production of Roy's court sequences in Bolton. Later, he went back to the Corey set in Salford to work with Shanique on writing. On the show's Instagram page, fans of Corey weren't afraid to voice their doubts about Joel in the post's comments area. He knows something about Lauren's disappearance, someone else commented. He's up to no good, isn't he? said someone else. And a third wondered, what did you do with Lauren, mister? Ultimately, a fourth person said, I think he's the reason behind Lauren's disappearance. It's kind of ironic that she and Dee Dee both wear the same jewelry. Every soap opera celebrity who has dated a co-star, from failed loves to happy marriages. Over the years, a great number of British soap opera stars have fallen in love while dating on set, some of these relationships have endured, while others have ended abruptly. Over the years, many co-stars of soap operas have gotten together off-screen, some of them go on to get married, while others end their relationships in difficult ways. Cast members of Coronation Street, EastEnders, Emmerdale, and Hollyoaks, ranging from young celebrities to seasoned performers, are accustomed to having romantic relationships once the cameras stop rolling. We now examine the well-known figures who have discovered love while working on the four enduring series. Jeff, who plays Kane Dingle in Emmerdale, and Zoe, played by Rona Goskirk, first connected while attending drama college and got married in 2003. They exchange Violet and Stan, the two teenage children. Jeff previously stated that although their characters don't often interact, we tend to learn our lines in isolation, but if we've got big days or big scenes, then we might run them together. Although the two don't often talk about their relationship, Zoe has previously shared her experiences of having her spouse around the set. It's important to have a laugh in between takes so upsetting stories don't get you down too much, she stated. Working on the same show as Jeff also helps because if one of us is having a bad day then the other will completely understand. 2014 saw the on-screen marriage of Hollux Stephanie, Sinead O'Connor, and Charlie, Freddie Roscoe, as well as their off-screen relationship. It's really sweet that they were put together on the show and found love off-camera too, a source said to the star at the time. They both have a really positive influence on one another. However, the relationship was short-lived as Charlie soon moved on to Kostat Tomorrow Wall. After arriving two years later, Joe began dating Kara, who played his sister Dawn Swan, after joining EastEnders in 2003 as Mickey Miller. But after Joe's stint in the I'm a Celebrity Jungle, they broke up, and he then dated Stacey Solomon. On EastEnders, Steve, Phil Mitchell, and Lucy, Louise Fowler, developed a romantic relationship, culminating in the birth of Louise as a child. Along with finding love away from the spotlight, they were together from 1999 to 2003. Steve later acknowledged that the contentious phone hacking incident contributed to their breakup. In 2015, Laura, Carrie Wyatt, and Mark, Daz Spencer, from Emmerdale grew close after meeting on set. Laura informed Inside Soap about her first encounter with him, saying, Mark came in as Dan's brother Daz in 2014, initially for a short stint. We remained in contact and became closer friends, never looking back. After becoming engaged in 2020, the couple has welcomed two children into their family.